Today's video is brought to you by the 5daydeal.com Photography Bundle 2022. Check the first link in the description for more info. In my last video, I was talking about the Ulanzi F38 quick release carbon fiber travel tripod, which I said was the best travel tripod that's out there right now. And this video was a comparison against the Peak Design carbon fiber travel tripod, where again, I showed that this was better than that guy in almost every single way. But in my last video, I also mentioned that I switched from the Peak Design backpack capture clip to the F38 backpack clip and I kind of said that this is better but worse and a bunch of you said tell me more again I have three reasons for you guys today why why you should go with this one before we do though I want to tell you guys about the 5daydeal.com 2022 photography bundle now this is a charity bundle I talked about the video bundle earlier in the year this is their photography based bundle and again it raises money for charity and it's it's so damn cool it is over $2,200 worth of video courses and lessons for $98 I I can't think of a better investment that you could make into your photography knowledge with a hundred bucks in your pocket than the photography bundle from 5daydeal.com. One of the courses on there is Peter Hurley's headshot course. And if you, if the whole bundle was just Peter Hurley's headshot course, you could take that knowledge, go book one headshot shoot that would be amazing because you have his knowledge and you would make more than a hundred dollars on, on one shoot and the whole bundle that you buy for $98, 10% of it goes to charity, like Rise Against Hunger or Children International. It's such a cool bundle that they do. They only do this once a year and it's for five days. And today, today's day two of five days. If you didn't hear about it on day one, um, you should follow me on Instagram where I, I said it on day one. But like I said, $2,200 worth of photography video courses for $98, that, that's kind of absurd. Head to the first thing in the description, do it fast. You've only got three days left and uh, you won't be sorry. And again, 10% to charity, the whole thing raises a ton of money for charity and that's that's a good cause. Okay, my three reasons why you should buy this one, even though there's a way that this one's better, but this one's, you'll, this will all make sense. The number one reason is shake. And I kind of mentioned this in the last video, but when the Peak Design plate is fully locked into this system, there is a lot of play in the system. Listen to how much play is in this system. Here's a little pro tip to getting these things on nice and tight because it's it's important that they're on there really tight so they don't slide up and down the strap. I have these guys. Yeah, they're like a like smooth headed but clamp style uh, wrench thingy. I use that and I get it on there and I just squeeze the crap out of it so that when I screw it down and then let it go, it is, it's not going anywhere. Okay, Peak Design Quick Capture Clip 3.0 on there. Okay, Peak Design on there in my quick release and that is it, that's locked in. I can already feel how loose it is. All right, so that's how it works. This is how both systems work. It's very nice. You can uh, quickly take your camera off, shoot something, and when you wanna keep hiking or, or keep your hands free, just uh, lock it back in place and it is locked in there. You can hear how much play. You hear how much play is in that? That's not the backpack strap, that's the, that's the actual system. And what's really funny about this is that this is their version two. Before the version three came out, again, I got this one in 2013, 14, something like that. And in their version two, they addressed this issue. Check out the Peak Design version two. This is the, the locking button over here. This is how the plate came out and went in. And same thing, there's some play in there. But they gave us this knob. And if I tighten this knob down while it's on my thing, it silences it, it locks it up. So there was a second knob on the version two that was to address the issue of the extra play that's in the system. But then when they switched to the version three, I think because they were trying to go smaller, lighter, and sleeker, which is the main benefit of this system, is that it it's very small, it's very pretty, it's very sleek and, and nice looking. It is lighter than, than the F38 system by about 25 grams, but uh, now they took away they took away that second knob. And because they did that, uh, there's no way to address the play that's in the system. Flip back over to the F38 system. Same thing, I'm gonna finger tight as much as I can, then grab my little clampy bit. All right, let's check the Falcam system. Oh man, I really wish I had multiple cameras to do this with. One camera's there, one camera's there, one camera's here. I'm all out of cameras, gotta switch the plate. All right, got the Falcam plate on there with again, the, the flathead screwdriver bit. There is no play in this system, listen to this. 
Nothing. There's no jiggle. There's no rattle. If you were running through an airport, like your camera's hitting you, but it's silent. Like the tolerances are tighter, I guess. And, and because of that, it doesn't move within the system at all. I will say to be fair, the peak design, it's not like it's ever fallen off on me. Like it's never, it's never come out of the quick clip, but it's just, just makes a lot of noise where again, the F38 goes into its clip. Totally silent over here. Quite a bit of noise over there. <laughs> Does this look funny? <laughs> Okay, the number two reason why I would go with the F-38 system over the Peak Design system is it's the ecosystem that I talked about. These are all F-38 plates. I now have this F-38 tripod bit. I also have this F-38 camera strap bit. And with the F-38 plate on there, I can go between all these different mounts with this quick release system. So Peak Design came up with this really great system, but they didn't expand on it. They just kept it to this clip and F-38 said, hey, we can make a bunch of stuff that uses that quick release and you'll be able to to go back and forth from all sorts of different mounts with this one system. Before I get to number three, let me just explain why I keep saying this is, is better in one way, but worse in others. This is a, it's just a better looking strap, like I said, like it's just sleeker. It is smaller and lighter than this guy. This guy kind of has these like, uh, they use these like plus screw, hold on, let me get it off for you again. See, it's just a smaller piece in there. I think it's even a little thinner than, than the F38 but it's just a smaller overall system. It's only got two screws, the F-38's got three, and the F-38 uses these like plus screws. I don't like these. I know that that's for like getting more grip with your fingers, but if you do something like this, you don't need the, I don't know. It's just, I, just, I don't know why, I don't like them. And this one comes in silver. If for some reason you're like, I really want my clip to be silver, uh, Peak Design does make a silver version. The F-38 is only in black. But the number three reason that, that I would choose the F-38 over the Peak Design, while again, there is no shake, and this has a great ecosystem, this is also significantly cheaper. The Peak Design Capture Clip is $75, and the F-38 Capture Clip is $45, and then they have a deal where it's $85 if you wanna buy a two-pack. So if you've got a bunch of backpacks like I do, um, I, I got four backpacks that I would put this on, that I wanna put this on. Right now I only have one of these, but I could buy it for all four backpacks relatively cheap compared to $75 per clip. I'm only paying $45 per clip, or $42.50 if you buy them in two packs. So for me, I don't know, that just makes a lot of sense. Again, it, I don't like these, I feel like I could probably replace these little plus things with circular ones, and that would make this already significantly better. If Falcam just gave me the ability to buy these, but they were circulars instead of little stars, uh, I think this whole system would look sleeker, would feel sleeker, and I think would be better. I know it sounds like I'm hating on Peak Design because I also said that this was better than this, but I'm not hating on Peak Design. They make great bags and really great camera straps. I love, I love their little clippy bits that I use all the time. But when it comes to tripods and and capture clips, uh, Ulanzi just came along and made a better product. That's it. Okay, I hope this helped you guys out. Hope this helped you uh, not buy this guy and go buy this instead. And you will, you'll be happy. Buy the whole F38 system. Uh, like I guess my last two videos, maybe even one before that. Uh, it just, man, it just works so well and so, I like this system a lot. Very cool. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, thank you for, for your idea to make this video. I, I made it. Hit that like button, subscribe, do all that stuff too. I'll see you guys soon. Oh my God. If I look especially tired in today's video, it's because last night our, our one-year-old, uh, she's kind of sick, so we didn't want to let her cry it out. She was crying in her crib, couldn't get her to stop. I ended up laying in the crib for like three hours trying to, to get her to fall asleep completely so that I could slowly creep out of the crib very late at night. And then our, and our three-year-old decided that she was gonna come in bed with us at like 3 a.m. and not sleep also. My sleep app said that I got three hours and 51 minutes of sleep. That's why I have coffee just off camera. <laughs> mm.